Good evening, good morning, good and good night to everybody. I hope y'all are having a fantastic and a lovely day. We're here on a new little world and I've done a little bit of work already just simply because I have a goal for this series that does not involve <laughs> the first grind phase of Minecraft. So what I want to do here is I want to build an entire city. Not just a city like you've typically seen in Minecraft, but one that's actually to scale of what you'd find in real life. Now, this isn't going to be based off any real city in the world, but it's going to be gothic. So probably more of a European flair to it, a little bit of a medieval, but definitely a lot of gothic. Now, what I've done here so far is I've actually started building a lake. And if we look on the map here, this is where I've set up shop. And this is where I've cleared a whole bunch of trees. And we're going to take all this land down, build ourselves a massive little lake here. And then start with our first build. It's going to be right over here, overlooking this hole that is filled with pointy, pointy rocks. More commonly known as dripstone. But what I want to first start off with is just showing you around what I've done. And then we'll get right into a time lapse where we're going to build our first massive build. And now that build is going to be a hotel that observes those pointy rocks that we're talking about. Maybe a tourist hotspot in our gothic medieval city. Probably leaning a little closer to industrial era gothic than medieval gothic. But as you can see, lots of work here, clearing out lots of trees. Got pretty diamonds on me. Got an iron farm started for we can do all that. But yeah, let's just... Clear all of this out real quickly, make ourselves a very basic lake. We're not going to do any detailing or terraforming on it yet. That will come later. And we're going to make that terraforming absolutely gorgeous. We're going to have cliffs all along these cliffs edge here. They fall into the river. We're then going to make this forest just flow beautifully into it. We're going to incorporate this ravine that's already here. It's maybe a deep point or the chow or the channel of the river where it runs through, but we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna make it look absolutely gorgeous and we have a huge world we're gonna work on. You can kind of see right here, my plans for this first building, but I won't give you too much. Not gonna let you spoil, not gonna let myself spoil it. So yeah, let me just clear out some of this lake here and then I'll bring you back, show you the basics of the lake. And then hopefully by then I'll have enough materials to climb this mountain itself and get to building a lovely little hotel. Now, just some points on here. There are two mods on this world. The first one being, ooh, it's getting dark. First one being chipped. I think it's a great mod that adds variety and just makes building overall much, much lovelier. And the second one is decorative items, which is pretty easy to understand what it does. And that's give you decorative items. So let's just go ahead, sleep, and then I'll bring you right, right, back all right well some more progress has been made as you can tell from our large little vantage point up here lots of land has been cleared now all this cleared land if we go into free cam real quick is going to be where the lake butts up against so like i said previously i'm not going to exactly do the lake right now i just i told myself i was going to dig this area down get in a picture in my head of what i wanted and that's what i did because I mainly want to focus on our other project, which is in this square blue box up here. So we've made a little more progress, which is the fact that we now have Elytra. And we've gathered up a bunch of stuff here. So what you'll be able to tell by this area outlined with the stone bricks, that's our building. So it's kind of in a funky shape if we look at it from above. It's almost a... F if you look at it from the right direction. But that's really not important for this matter here. This is going to be where we're building it. We have a lot more we've got to do on it. But I've been trading with some villagers at a little hut I built right here. Just to get the materials that are going to be needed for this. And so that's going to be a whole boatload of dark oak trapdoors. Different block types from the chipped mod. Or sorry, brick types from the chipped mod. Normal bricks again, of course. And then we still have a bunch of blackstone we need to get, which is, again, in the nether. So we'll go ahead into the nether and craft all that up. They all reset, hopefully not too loudly in y'all's ear. 
but we'll do all of that and i have just thought i had it somewhere ah i have the sandstone i need as well right here and i've also gathered up a decent amount more of glass but for that we're going to need to build a super smelter so lots of things we can do until we can efficiently build this building and that's what we're going to strive for now is just get ourselves a super smelter so we can get all the glass go back to the desert which is way that direction since we're on large biomes and get some more sandstone because even though we have mm, a little over a shulker box we still need more for this building so i'm going to finish preparing this area here making everything look nice and then I'll probably just bring you out back in the form of a quick time lapse of me building this place. So it's probably again going to be several hundred more game days. But that is perfectly fine. I don't mind if you don't mind waiting a little bit longer for a video. But as we fall into a lovely little hole, that's where we're going to cut it. So next I'll see you. We'll be with a completed, finished, hopefully, in your opinion, lovely little hotel. Let's get to that.
All right, and there you have it. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that short little time lapse where we finished this entire thing. At least I'm hoping we did. I know we're still missing some flowers on there, but I haven't found any too tall flowers in my entire world yet. But I think it is looking fan frickin tastic. And now we need to discuss where things are going to go from now on in this series. So let's land here, spin around. So what I want to do is build a massive gothic city. And this is the first start here. So I want this to be kind of a very specific era that's post-industrial, or sorry, pre-industrial, post-Gothic. So right in the time place that some of the Assassin's Creed's take place, right there in the old, probably what most y'all would think of as the Renaissance. So with that, we can just go ahead and look at one of the other buildings we've I've done here while I was building this. And that will get you more clearly at the rest of the style of this. Now, the one up there on the hill has got more of an industrial flair to it with the bricks and the brighter colors. But this one here fits into that gothic theme. So those are going to kind of be the two extremes of what we really build here. This one, very dark, muted colors. And the other one, fairly bright. Not necessarily vibrant colors, but bright. And so, yeah. That's what I want to do. We have our stuff all spread out through this massive spruce forest and the meadows that surround it. I don't have it all quite yet mapped out on the map, but as you can see with large biomes, spruce and everything stretches for a while. But yeah, these cities are going to be what I like to call focused on a center point. So... There's going to be a bunch of different focal points for the town all spread out throughout it that roads emanate from and that create neighborhoods with their own themes and styles all in this genre between what we've just built here and a super muted gothic. So I'm excited to get move forward with that. I think this has been a very successful first build. And yeah. No plans for the inside of this currently, but maybe we'll do something. All I know is I've successfully made it to where it is not, hopefully, a mob farm. I lit up high so they wouldn't be dropping on me if I ever did decide to come in here and do something. But, for now, I think that's going to do us for this quick one. That's kind of how I want to do this, where we focus on one big build or a section at a time. And they may take me longer than a week or so to make, but... Here's watch them whenever you want, and I hope you all enjoy them. But anyways, see y'all next week. Bye.